Hello everybody, today we create an empty map based on Lyra as our basis for our new game. We start as always with the infographic. You see the lettering here, it's aligned. And here's a couple of things that we will not change just using from Lyra, but everything else that is new stuff. Central is the map that we will create. For that, we need an experience definition to actually use that map and use our character. So we create a character blueprint, a pawn for it, and character parts to be able to change the appearances. Then we have our plugin, and that is something that will not be changed when Lyra is changed, so never do anything in the Lyra directory, it's just a toolbox. On the left hand, you see all the different things that we will do step by step, really. We, go, we will go through that in that video, but you can always refer to the infographic if you are stuck or if you have any problems, and it's actually much faster than uh, listening to a video anyway. So, okay, first thing, creating a plugin and making sure that the connection to Visual Studio is still working. If not, look at my first video in this series. So, yeah, let's open Edit Plugins and just search for Visual Studio to be sure here. And you see at least two or three parts. You see one is actually missing here, the integration tools. Just enable it and reboot your or restart your engine. You will find these in the marketplace, just search for Visual Studio and in um, the engine directory folder under extras um, Unreal VS. So now again, we start with the plugin. We go to plugins, say add and use a game feature with C++. Not using C++ as I promised, but still it should be there because it's easier to understand the data. Just give it some name and create a plugin. That will launch Visual Studio in the background. It's compiling a couple of things that hopefully should get through without error, but we can ignore that for the moment, switch back here. Here's our plugin. We have error registering. It's fine for the moment. Just keep it, save it, and close it for the moment. So that was already our step A. Let's go to B, our preparation, making sure that we see our plugin content and create our standard map that we want to use. Plugin content will be visible if this is checked. And then you will see it in the plugins directory. And then you have a folder called your plugin name with content. Create a maps folder in that, enter that, and just say file new level. And let's select an open world. Here it is. And we can give it a name with file, save current level or save it as. Make sure that it really lands in your plugins, content folder, and then the maps directory. Just so let's put it a name. Normally I start my maps with M and then just default and uh, yeah, BA for Bastian project. Normally you have a two letter code here and we have our new map. Cool. Let's go to the project settings. You have the point of maps and here you can set the default map and let's set it as default to make sure it always loads. When we start the game, we will change it later if we have a, our own menu structure here, but for the moment, that's totally fine. Okay. So, and yeah, make sure to save it from time to time. And that concludes our step B already. So next thing is our character blueprint that we need. So, for that, we create a blueprint based on B Hero default. That's coming from Lyra. We make, um, yeah, we use it as a base. So let's make a directory for that. Characters, enter it, right click, blueprint. And here, B Hero default should be our base class. We select that and hopefully get our blueprint. Uh, let's call it BP for blueprint and then BA for our project shortcut, and then just hero. So let's open that because we need to add a couple of logic here. So have a look at this here. I will put all the blueprints in this Blueprint UE. Just open it, and here you can copy the um, Blueprint logic just copy it here and pass it in. That makes it a bit easier and 
Um, there are some caveats I will show you, but um, that makes it easier to follow the video. Just go to the invent graph. We don't need that here, just delete it. And then just control V and here we go. So that is already the logic. It's actually quite simple. We are here on an event on character parts changed. Make it a bit bigger. Character parts changed. Oh, actually, we don't have that, so let's add it. <laughs> it's a component. Just search for cosmetics. And here we have to be mannequin pawn cosmetics. We absolutely need that because now we have the connection to this component on changed. Yeah, we're getting an actor from it, the character parts actor. If it's valid, we look for a certain tag if it's masculine. If that tag is there, we just branch out to link money or Quinn invisible and make sure that we have both of these here. Sometimes the, the menus are actually avoided if we copy past the things. Here we need unarmed ABP unarmed layers, same here. So make sure that all the drop downs are really filled. That might be something that, uh, that goes wrong if you copy past code in there. So unarmed here, money and Quinn here, invisible. That looks very good. Hopefully it compiles at this point. Let's try it out. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, don't see it. Yeah, like so. Good, successful. So let's have a look. That is something that we passed it in. Uh, here are some class defaults that we need to suit. The animation blueprint that we want to use. We go to class defaults. Animation blueprint is already there. It's none, so just enter base here. And here we go. We use the base animation blueprint from the Lyra project. We compile again. We can close and be done. Oh, no, we're not done. <laughs> we changed the mesh. So go back, <laughs> open the mesh. And the only thing here, if you look at the view point, is that the pivot point is not at the bottom. And that should be so minus 88 will self that. We save again and then we are done. So point D, the Lyra Pawn data, that is a um, data asset based on Lyra pawn data. So we just go back there uh, in the root directory, I would say, right click, misc, then data asset based on the Lyra pawn data. Here we go, and select that one. And DA is normally for data asset, BA for the project, and then pawn data. So let's open that and just expand everything in here. It's quite simple. So we have a pawn class. Luckily, we created one. So let's take that. Then we have an input config. There are two defined. We use the input data hero. And default camera mode, we just use the third camera. And that's it already. So let's look at the next one. Lyra, Lyra controller component, the character pass. That is the component responsible for the changing of appearances. It's based on Lyra controller component character parts. So let's create a new blueprint in our character directory. And here we copy paste that in. Here we go, character parts, unselected. And let's call it BP, BA, char parts. So let's open that. And again, same thing, we delete what is there. And we just copy past what we need. So here have the link, right click in a new tab. And it's a small one still. We copy past what we need here, go back and past it in. Again, the drop down menu did not transfer, so make sure oops, make sure you have this part class here. Come on, switch back. Here you see what is actually needed. If you go down there, sorry, I closed that. And here the part class should be our money. Just search for money. And then we are done and can compile and save that one too. Good. Yeah, that was the character pass. Let's look at the next thing. That is the Lyra experience definition. Very important point because that is something that is automatically put into all the menus. 
So we create a new blueprint based on Lara experience definition. I would put it in the root directory. Remember where it is because we need to add that directory later. Experience definition using this here on select. And we call it BP PA exp definition. So opening that, there are a couple of points. We have the game feature to enable. You have to add one element and you have to call it like your project is called. If you look into our plugins, it's Bastian content. You just leave away the content that is automatically added. So our game feature is just called Bastian in this case. The pawn data is our pawn data class and we make it a bit bigger. We have to add one action. Let's see how it's called. We add a component and take the controller and our newly created parts class. So let's add one here, put add components in there. And you see a lot of things that are added here that we can use later. Looking at the components, we add again one element. Uh, that was two. So one element. And just open it. The actor class should be controller. Down there. And the component class is our parts class that we just used. And it's a server only component, not client component. Okay, that is that. Let's compile and save. Going back, that was our experience definition. And now we come back to the very, very first thing that we created, the game feature data. Just open it here and we can change a couple of things. We need one action and that is an input config. Opening up, again, we need one element here. And look here, we have the gamepad and keyboard mouse config. I just use keyboard mouse. You can also add the gamepad here, same logic. And that is that. Then we could look at the asset manager. The asset manager tells Unreal where to find things. We need three items here. Experience definition, user facing it, experience definition and our map. Let's start with the experience definition. So one, two, three. The primary asset type is just copy paste it, copy paste it, experience definition. This has blueprints and important the directory where it sits. It sits in our plugin main folder, in the root folder. So let's put that. Then number two, that is the Lyra user facing experience definition. Same thing, we have to add that here. So we passed it in here, we passed the search in here, and no blueprints, but very important, the directory. Again, it's the root directory of our plugin. And okay, and the third thing is our map. So type map and a world, and again in directory. So this is map, this is a world. Uh, I have to scroll down two, three pages. There is the world. And our directory is our map directory that we created. So again, plugins, Bastian, and maps in this case. Okay, that's it. So looking good, let's switch back. Uh, we have done that. And point A, the experience for the map to be done. And we need to tell Lara to find the experience, otherwise it will not recognize it. So we go to project settings. We go to asset manager and here the primary asset types to scan has one Lyra experience definition, just opening that. And we then just add our plugin directory to it to make sure that it will be scanned. So adding an item, searching here and going again to our plugins directory, the root content and be done. And last thing, we have to define our gameplay experience. That is something you will find in the world settings. It needs to be enabled. So just go to, no, no tools, uh, window. The world settings needs to be checked and then you will find it on the right side normally. And here you have the default gameplay experience. That is our gameplay experience that we just created. And that is gluing it all together. And that should it be, let's save and start our hopefully empty map. And 
Yeah, here we go. Oh, long way down. We might add a player start here. But you see, animation is already working. And we have this very, very nice Lyra animation um, with crouching, only running and crouching at the moment. But you see this when you change direction. Um, if you look at the head, uh, it's looking in direction first and it, the, the, the body is rotating. So that is looking very, very nice. And yeah, in the next chapters, we will think about how to change the appearance, how to add our menu, and then later to add some game logic.